This is a powerful book. This is a real self-help book. This is like, this is a, a real one. Like, it's not like uh, someone orchestrates this whole thing. Like, what I'm going to do is I'm going to become a motivator. Right. I'm going to be I'm gonna be a personal influencer. Right. I'm going to be that guy that goes out there and tells people, you can optimize your life. Here's how you do it. <laughs> and there's so many of those fucking guys out there. Right. Yeah, that's not me, man. I know this one dude. I ran into him recently. I ran into him at this restaurant. He's fat as fuck. He's got this big old belly. And he, I know he does these, these motivational things. And I, I'm looking at him. I'm like, what are you talking talking about man like right. you're weak right like, look at your body look at your own temple look at the, your meat vehicle you're right. carrying around this fucking donut around your waist it's just he was eating <laughs> shitty food and he looked <laughs> soft i'm like wake up bitch so many people are doing that now man yeah. so many people are talking this noise exactly and, and i see them yeah i know them i'm not gonna say names but i know them. i'm like man dude do you know why my life is miserable right now because i can't go on your show right now your podcast, if I didn't get after it this morning. So I cannot talk to people. Unless and, you're authentic. Unless I'm authentic. Because yeah. I used to be the most unauthentic motherfucker on the planet. Now, I have this voice in my head saying, oh no, I'll call you up. If I lie to you about something, even a white lie. Hey, yo, Joe, guess what, dude? I fucking lied to you, man. Like, that wasn't real. Like It, it will bother me that badly right. now. You know, so another thing, I didn't, what's funny about all this book stuff, man, I didn't set out to write a book. Like, literally, man, when I was 24 years old on a couch, fat, spraying for cockroaches, eating donuts and drinking milkshakes, I did not plan on doing this. All I wanted to do was change the fucking reflection in that daggone mirror. This is all, this is a, bi it's, it's, it's a byproduct of, of that. And that's, and that's the funny thing about it. Like, everybody's like, oh, my God, David Goggins, what, you know, what the hell? You, 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 I'm like, what the fuck? That's why it works, though. Unbelievable. It, it, it works because you really did do it. You really did do all those things, and you show how you did it. And you're not using any bullshit theatrical jargon. No, you're not. You know, you're. You know, you're not saying a bunch of buzzwords. Can you live the life of an actualized no. person? I can show you how. And you look at this guy talking. He's got a neck like a pencil, and his his, <laughs> his, his body is just frail. Like no. you don't even understand adversity. You don't understand overcoming. This is not the secret. You know, right. this isn't about. Yeah. The, the law of fucking attraction. Yeah, exactly. No, nah, this ain't no attraction here, brother. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't no attraction here, man. Yeah, like, this people book is love straight that. up. Yeah, they the, love nonsense. Yeah, it, this is no nonsense, man. It's no nonsense. This is a real self help book, man. This is the real deal. That's how you self help. You self help by people who have done it, and you learn what they did, and you realize there's no shortcuts. Right. And then you learn to embrace that no shortcut mentality and enjoy enjoy the suffering and the and the, and the grind of it. And what we talked about earlier. There's no fucking finish line. It doesn't exist. You know what's funny about that is I have people now. So when I was in the worst part of my life, those people want to bring you back in. Those people, it's like, like you can see who you hang out with, like when you're in your worst. And when you're trying to get better, what, what makes it hard to get better is that you are hanging around people who, like, let's say you're an alcoholic. You hang around people who drink. And let's say you want to stop drinking. Those people want to bring you back in. Like, I used to be this guy, this guy who was, who, you know, who wasn't worth anything. Now those people who are still there, they're 16, 17, 18, 30 years ago, they're trying to get you back there. So the hardest part, you got to see who you're hanging out with, man. You got to hang out with the people who you want to be like the most. Yeah, people will definitely drag you They'll down. They'll drag you down. And especially if you're around someone who makes a lot of excuses and they're oh. always failing. Oh. Those are just like, they're, they're the opposite of inspiration. They're like a vacuum. 100%. It's sucking it out of you. Why are you doing that today, man? Yeah. Why, why are you getting up again so early? Why are you doing this? Why are you yeah. doing this? The people you're hanging around with will suck the fucking life out of you. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to be alone, man. Get your shit in. And then there's also people that you're going to be around that are always failing and always fucking up and then always coming to you to try to get you to help them. Exactly. They become a, a giant burden. They yes. They can never look in the mirror and get their own shit together. And they're it's always looking story. for external help. That's right. Always looking for external help. People don't want to go in deep, man. All the answers are inside of you. It's a very primitive way. How, like how this book is written, it's, it's, it's primitive. It's, it's, it's very barbarian. It's, it's how we all think.